Hey y'all, as everybody watching this video knows, I am a diehard Bulls fan. And the one thing I need the Bulls to do more than anything is to fight, fire Jim Boylan. He is quite literally the worst coach I've ever um, had to watch every single night. You know what I'm saying? And the Bulls do have history of not having the greatest coaches. Like, we do have some of the greatest of all time. Shout out to Phil Jackson. Um, but we also have some pretty bad ones in our existence. But Jim Boylan is literally at the bottom of the totem pole. There's an entire compilation that people keep spamming me. 10 minutes of Jim Boylan being a clown for the Chicago Bulls. Now, I don't know how many games Jim Boylan coached, but I promise you it wasn't long. So the fact that he has a 10-minute compilation of him being a clown tells you everything you need to know. It was like one season. A half a season last year, and this technically probably counts as half a season since we got quarantined and all. And it is an entire 10-minute compilation. So let's get into it. I already know this first clip. I already know this first clip. You're a clown. A clown, buddy. And listen. Listen. I agree what that fan is saying, but it's not very cool. Because Jim Boylan, from everything I've experienced with him, is a is a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? He's just bad at his job at the end of the day. He's just not a very good head coach. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, he's doing his best. Jimmy, it's just bad. He's a disgrace to the city. Again, he's just bad at his job. The person, not that bad. He's just bad at his job. So I'm never really mad at him. Can I say that? No, I'm actually pretty mad at him at sometimes. But I wouldn't attack him personally like that. But let me see. At the end of this compilation, I'll let you know if things have changed. Because I have not seen every single interview of Jim Boylan. So here's one. To stay in the rotation. That's what he needs to do. Stay right. ready. Let me, re stay re let me rephrase Stay that. ready. Why is he out of the rotation? Uh, because I said so. The thought of how you... That's a very jerk thing to say. Because I said so. That's just... Like, the media member just wants a, an answer. Oh, he, his ankle's still not 100%. Oh, uh, he ain't. He hasn't showed to me that he deserves to be in a rotation. But because I said so. This is kind of kind of a nut thing to say. You handled Lowry's minutes with that long gap he had. Be, be, be. Yeah, well, I played him more in the first half. I played him almost the whole first quarter. Uh, I looked at him, and I thought he was breathing pretty hard in that first quarter, so I gave him a little break, and then I got him back in there. Um... Nothing, you know, you ride with some guys for a little bit, you see how it goes, you bring them back, it's it's just basketball. Jim, do you see how that could, like, inhibit his confidence, though? Because he's playing his best basketball for, like, hey. the last two weeks, and then he gets benched for 14 minutes and 40. Who? Who is this reporter? Who is this reporter? I need him. I need to follow him. Seven straight seconds, and then there's not a lot of rhythm there. Do you see how that could be hard on him and his confidence? Uh, I, I mean... Are you saying it is hard on him, or are you saying how it could be, or what? Well, I'm saying I think it could be hard on him. Yeah. We gotta go talk yeah. to him still, but yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Now, I am not a coach. I'm not an NBA coach, high school coach, college coach. But that's a fact. If you sit out for 14 straight minutes, it don't matter what's going on. You're gonna be like, dang, coach, like this. Even especially since Larry Marketing was hot at that point, you sit him for that long. Come on, man, it ain't rocket science, baby. It's basketball. So. I think he understands. I that think he understands, but now he just well, came out in an interview the and said Jim Boylan is a dog in the bad way. And so, you know, I overplayed him in the first half, right? And then second half, it wasn't it wasn't the same rotation. That's just part of the game. Was it so, pre-planned to do that, or was that no, by feel kind of? No, I've, I've, I have a scripted rotation, and but it's not in stone. It's not in stone. Um, He's a bad guy. Bad coach. Jim, we know Gafford was on the active roster. Was he healthy enough to play? Um, I, I thought, Shout I, out to thought KC. he was available, which was good. Um, but I didn't play him tonight. So Was he healthy enough? I thought he was available, which is good, but I didn't play him tonight. Now, some of you, if you're not a Bulls fan, you would understand. You, you wouldn't understand the terribleness in that statement. Because who was probably playing minutes instead of Daniel Gafford? Luke Cornett, who, is, who might be the worst center I've seen since Felicio, who's also on the roster. Daniel Gafford, even though he was a rookie, he was really nice for us. So the fact that he was active and you felt he was good enough to go and you didn't play him and we end up losing? Up to play? Uh, I didn't play him tonight. I just wasn't going to play him with our two centers. So. Was it with because our two of centers. health or was it because you had Felicio ahead of him in the rotation? Felicio is one of the two centers. Uh, 
a combination of a couple things. You know. Is he still wobbly on that ankle? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm see, just, Jim Boylan you know, is—he came back, from Pop, available, so he tries to answer back. like Pop. So, but you don't have you the resume to do Pop things. Come, so it, Pop can answer this question like this because you're not supposed to question Pop. He's just great at what he does. Figure that out when he gets This man is not even close to that. He said you made three uh, egregious defensive mistakes. This is my favorite moment for Zach Levine this season, this Zach statement. Was, you know, I got 13 points scored on him, I guess, or, you know, it was a starting five, I don't remember. So, I thought I did, you know, I thought I was trying to do my job out there. So, you I, know, you I got to take it with that. stride. And uh, like I said, I can't do anything about that. I just got to control what I can control. I can't control my minutes. Right. And what did he do next game? He came out and dropped like a 1,000 points at a game winner against Charlotte. Y'all saw that play off the inbound. He got the steal. And do you, that was do you the game. Game. bring the starters back a little sooner? Nope. Why is that? Because I'm going to develop this bench. And I'm going to develop this team. Oh, my God. Got, this got, is the I moment. I got 15 guys to develop. And, this is the moment. Uh, I'm going to play them in those moments, and they're going to learn how to play winning basketball. Uh, I'm going to develop this bench? Bro, we were up by like 20 against the Lakers, and we lost this game. I'm, I'm going to develop this bench. I don't care that we got... These guys, the starters, actually playing really, really good. I'm going to develop this bench. Bro, half of that bench is not going to be there next season. You want to develop those dudes? They're going to be in the G League. They're going to be out of the league. I'm going to develop my bench. I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that. So we're going to develop that second group, and we're going to have a bench here in Chicago, and I'm going to keep coaching it. Well, I don't think there's, there's not Terrible. really an answer to this. Um, hey, we make a couple more shots, you know, our, our, our record's different. We get a couple more stops, our record's different. You know, our record is what it well, is. We get a new head and coach and our record is My different. job is to keep coaching and developing this group of men. That's that's what I'm doing. And how we do that is we come in and work. Uh, we were just trying to get a three, execute something we've been working on, an uh, action that we've been working on. And um, I thought their pressure... This is a disgrace to that. That logo on the background is the best logo on the league. Their length and athleticism on the side of the house. This man is, is our coach. And, um, Still ain't fired him. Hard time getting the ball. Still ain't fired him. For whatever reason, this man is still the head coach, chilling at the crib. He needs to be selling his house to Chicago, bro. Sell it. Because he's he's more fit as an assistant coach, but not even here. You're done. No more assistant here. You ran your course. Is it worth the risk to continue to do that Hey, I ain't, I'm gonna keep it fuck with you. These media people, they they throwing them hard hitting questions. They not beating around the bus. They said, Jim Boiler, you're making mistakes here, bro. I don't know if you're reading his mind on that or you're just making that assumption that that's what he's upset about. He hasn't said a word to me about it. He's very respectful about me coaching the team. Oh, man, this guy's just such a clown. It's him and him being a clown. And every single moment, it's like, yeah, that's him being a clown. But again, I wouldn't be like the one fan. I wouldn't be like the one fan to like literally call him out like that. I just think that's not, not very cool. And then obviously we couldn't help but notice Jim Boyle back there. You guys have to hire some things out. You guys okay? It's the same interview. Yeah, no, we good. You know, it just gets frustrating when, you know, when you're not winning. I just know everybody gets frustrated. You know. So every time we shot it, just we were, you know, I wish we were in the game at the end of the end of the game. Facts though. I mean, obviously we we lost nine in a row, so I want to be a winner. Nine in a row is tough, bro. Nine in a row is tough. Nah, we were just talking about some things throughout the game, some stuff I didn't like, and then some stuff that you know what happened throughout the game. Player, coach, things that we. We just talk about it every once in a while. I would we love, I would love for a player to just come out and say, "Bro, my coach is trash." I know they can't do that because then what GM wants that person that can't keep things in house? But I just, I just want somebody on the Bulls to be like, "Bro, get him out of here." I know they talk behind the scenes. We have uh, Carney Shovas are calling up the players, and I bet they talking to each other like, "Man, Jim Boyle is not the thing." And Carney Shovas like, "Yeah, we know that." But like, what if somebody came out publicly? <laughs> that would be fun, but then there'll be people out there like he's not good enough to be saying anything about the coach. He averaged this many points per game. The Bulls only won 22 games. Yada yada yada. Bro, somebody needs to be a leader and say Jim Boylan is the worst coach I've played for. Obviously, 
you never know what can happen type what is it okay i'm tired of this interview we gotta keep it moving what's what's the next interview zach said yesterday that you and he had a good player this guy right behind me he young bro like can i get a media pass i need about my age i need a media pass coach discussion after the games how he described it what um i mean obviously you're not going to go into detail but do you feel yeah. like you guys were yeah. off the page got on the same page yeah. or, or how would you describe I, I it i thought we were frustrated i think he's frustrated i think our team's frustrated uh, nobody with, likes with to you. lose games yes because uh, of you we're competitive people um i coach till the end of games you guys know that i'm gonna keep it i don't even want to watch the rest of this we know he's a clown I know he's a clown. You know what? You know what? Then I type in. I think I typed in Jim Boylan to find this video. Let me find another Jim Boylan moment. Let me find. Oh, this is because of me. I I put out a tweet about this, and this got so many views. Oh my god. This is this is the moment that blows my mind. This is the moment that blows my mind. Dante, whoa, ooh, to Luka, easy spinning, bucket, whoa. Tomas is very skin frame. Watch this. Watch this moment. Thinking by Jim Boylan, they would have pulls would have scored. That's two points off the board. Oh goodness, Sato's that's two points off the board. About that. Oh, no, 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 I ain't done. I ain't done. I ain't done. I, ain't, I, I am not done. I am not done. My boy Daniel Gaffer gets injured right here. He's hurt. He's on the ground in pain. Doesn't score. Right, he's on the ground in pain. Player down. I think it's Gafford, as a matter of fact, who is down right now for Chicago. This man, Jim Boylan, did not call a timeout. Saw that Luca had the wide open three and saw he him didn't call ground, a timeout. So Rick Carlisle did. The, the other, the the other coach. The I know Rick saying they can't sub, but I also think that Rick was kind of sticking up. He's saying, Look like, at the this man, hurt. like, bro. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't think he. Thank y'all so much for watching. Jim Boylan is trash. I'd be a better head coach than him, and that's saying something because I have no experience. I'm keeping it a buck with you. The guy's terrible at his job. Terrible, terrible at his job. I'm out. I'm, I'm done.